And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Bant Reclamation in Best of One. As y'all probably know, I'm not the biggest fan of Wilderness Reclamation just as a, as a card design. I don't really like the card too much, but I don't want that to take away from the stream and content and everything. And I, I want to be able to play um, as many different decks as possible, especially for those of y'all on YouTube, give you, you know, deck ideas and everything like that. So we're playing a R Wilderness Reclamation deck here. The main reason why I wanted to play this also, besides that, is because really I just wanted to play Emergency Powers. This card is just pretty cool, and I just wanted an excuse to put emergency powers into a deck. So how this card works, 7 mana instant, each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library, then draws 7 cards, and exile emergency powers afterwards. It does have the addendum that if you do cast it during your main phase, then you may per put a permanent card with CMC 7 or less from your hand onto the battlefield. So if we do have the 7 mana on our main phase, you know, we could put like a wilderness reclamation on the battlefield. For example, there. Um, how this card is really powerful, <clears throat> where it's at its best, is if we can play it while we have Narset in play. Because with Narset, each opponent can't draw more than one card a turn. So we will shuffle our hand and graveyard into our library, and we'll draw a brand new hand to seven cards. But our opponent will only draw one card, because that's all they can draw. <laughs> so that's what we're going to hopefully try to set up. Narset Emergency Powers. It's so mean. Uh, just like my opponent could have like five cards in hand. You're like, well, shuffle those five cards back. You can draw one. That's it. Um, I'm a little worried about this deck against aggro, of course. That's where, like where we're probably going to struggle. And we are playing best of one, which is the aggro format. So we'll, we'll see how well it, it goes. Um, we got the four time wipes that we're going to definitely be relying on here. I uh, got the brazen borrowers. That's just a, a good um, tempo card here to help bounce stuff back to our opponent's hand. That does work pretty well, bouncing stuff back to their hand before you emergency powers, too. Um, we got some counter magic with Veto Dispute. We got Growth Spirals to speed us up. Teferi obviously slows our opponents down, but then also allows us to cast our sorceries at instant speed, which is critical for our uh, main win con, uh, which is going to be a finale of glory. Though we're going to be uh, making a whole bunch of 2 twos to win some games here. All right, so let's give this a try. Let's see how it does in the fast best of one format. Hopefully it still does pretty good. We'll see. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. You can also do the Narset on their upkeep too so that so that their draw step doesn't even give them a card either. <laughs> or, you know, after their draw step if you want, and then they get nothing. I guess, yeah, you do it after. Yeah, you, so they, they draw their turn, and then and then you cast... You cast it. And they already drew one card for turn, so then they draw zero cards. So you put shuffle their whole hand back into their library and they draw zero. Yeah, Abzan Wolves played out very well. Yeah, I liked it. It was it was a fun deck to play. I really liked both of that and um the Selesnia Knights. I really liked playing both of those. And Orzov Sacrifice was pretty fun to play too. That was impressive. We had just some good decks today. As somebody who's who's just played best of three always, and I've always liked best of three and everything, I've kind of been enjoying, especially with this format, this format more than others, I've been enjoying best of one a lot. Um, it's just such a grindy format where the games take so long and everything, and we're, we're best of, like in best of three, or best of one's not really like that. The games are a lot faster, and people don't just survive forever. Like in best of three with, with all the Simic decks, with all the food and Hydroid Craces, there's just so much life gain and so much card advantage and life gain and the games never end. Especially post-board whenever you both have a whole bunch of interaction for each other. All right, so, you know, we're going to have Time Wipe on turn five, but I need to make sure that I survive until turn five. So I went with the um, 
went with the mystical dispute there as like a way to try to slow my opponent down a little bit. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna be going this route. My prowess, I have just the trick for this. I mean, that's not bad. So yes, my opponent does know <clears throat> that I'll be casting Time Wipe, but I, I want to have a backup Time Wipe. Still have much to learn. They missed one land drop so far. I, I can't imagine they would play just another creature into this unless it's a claimed contender. That would be like the only reason to play a creature. So I bet that's what they're kind of deciding between. I should just do this. I like I could play Narset and then they don't get to draw an extra card, but I do. But I'm losing one life. Going to eight. Their attack puts me down to four. If they if they have like land ember cleave, I die. The thing is, is I don't have very much removal in my deck also though. Maybe I should just play this. Open mind. I probably need to save my time white for another turn. Oh no. Red land, don't have Ember Cleave. Uh that's still pretty close to killing me. Please don't kill me. No, don't kill me. Yay, they didn't kill me. I could have had Boulder Rush. No, they killed me. All right, I guess I needed a time wipe. It was too, too greedy to wait. I tried waiting. Because with, with just like the four time wipes, each one is pretty valuable. But honestly, at that point, I should have just time wiped because... Because I have the white castle to be able to make more creatures, so I could also... Maybe even... Even if I just don't play Nars... No, yeah, because I need to kill that, that other thing before they draw more cards. Because I could have just... Like, after Time Wipe, then I could have... Had, like, Reclamation plus start making 1-1s one -ones and stuff. I do like Growth Spiral, but we need more land to make Growth Spiral effective. I mean, I was at 9. You know, if I would have time wiped, I would have been at 9. So it's not the lowest life total. The problem with Wilderness make a creature that that turn instead of playing Narset was then my opponent would have drawn two cards and I didn't want them to start drawing two cards with the 2-2. Two -two. Um, I, I, personally, I like the Selesnya Knights list more. That doesn't mean that it's... I'm not... 
you know, not necessarily saying that it's better, but I personally like that list. I like Selesnya Knights more than Selesnya Adventure. That was going to make both the Pell Collectors 3-3s. Three this is pretty strong, just getting a 1-1 one -one every turn. Uh, yes, Finale of Glory and Brazen Borrowers are the ways that I'll be winning this. Did that main phase because I wanted to hit land drop. That's what I was hoping. Gross. No, I could, no, the Knight of Autumn would still destroy the Wilderness Reclamation even if I bounce it in response. And I can't bounce, you can't bounce your own permanents. I couldn't, it's only, you can only bounce stuff your opponent controls. So I couldn't bounce the, um, the Reclamation either. Yeah, if you're short on Brazen for this deck, I would I'd kind of recommend just playing Prison Realm. Honestly, I think I think you'd probably want more. If you're short on Brazen Borrower, I'd recommend just more hard removal. It's so like the Giant Sweeper. Like maybe get a fifth Sweeper in here. Like Realm Cloak Giant. And Prison Realm, Glass Casket, especially for best of one. If you show remorse, I'll I'll protect you. These sleeves, these were just in the store to, to purchase um, at some point, like after World Wake. Or sorry, <laughs> why did I say World Wake? Dominaria. Sometime after Dominaria. Or wait, was it. Or War of the Spark? War of the Spark. Whenever the set was with all of the Planeswalkers. Ugh, I'm a mess. <laughs> yeah, War of the Spark. 
Yeah, I think Abzan Wolves could be just fine in best of three as well. This is hardly my worst defeat. <laughs> Yuck. Where's my time wipes? Not there. If I just activate Castle, we're taking Lethal. Yeah, my two cards off inside and then my draw for turn, all three of them breeding pools after we already have one breeding pool. The odds of that are incredibly low. I could do I could do that math real quick. Like, what were the odds of drawing triple breeding pool, at, you know, with uh, 43 cards left and, and only three breeding pools in the deck? Well, the first draw was just a 7% chance that we draw a breeding pool. And then drawing the second breeding pool made it a 0.3% chance. And then drawing the last one was um, like a 0.0008% chance. AK, not good. So yeah, so that, that math was just three, three out of 42 times two out of 41 times one out of 40. I think I got this. I did, like, even without the, the reclamation. The reclamation isn't really important. That's more like it. Well, that card's cool. Because I can bounce Questing Beast during their during their combat. Yeah, so I don't I don't want to do anything with those with that mana.
There's a song title. Since MG, MTG bot didn't work. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Behold, nature's true power. So if I activate Castle, I can... St yeah, I can still cast a Borrower, right? As far as I can tell. Yeah, Bleeding Black, yeah, we've been doing real good today. I know, Wilderness deck. I was, I know I don't love Wilderness, but I um, wanted to do something different. Yeah, I, I like playing just a you know very wide variety of decks. So yeah, we didn't really need the Wilderness Reclamation there, but it made my life easier. I suppose. I mean, I got to make an extra 1-1 one, one because of it. Alright, 1-1. One one. See the power of Brazen Borrower there, getting all that damage in, putting our opponent from down from 20 to 0. And yeah, all we had to do was just bounce enough stuff. We never got time wipe against the green deck. Like That's, that's pretty crazy that we won against the green aggro deck, and we never got time wipe. We just bounced, 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 and eventually won with some chip shots. Yeah, Abzan Wolves was sweet. Selesnya Knights was sweet. I think, um, I think Abzan Wolves is probably the the best best of three deck from today. Um, Grix's Fires is kind of tough in best of three. So it takes like your sideboard slots and everything. Um, Slesnia Knights would be would be okay as well, um, but not as good. This deck, kind of the same thing. These decks. So basically, besides the Abzan Wolves, like a lot of these other decks, same with the Sacrifice, just wouldn't be as strong in best of three. They're not as good whenever people get to tune their decks to interact with yours. I don't think I just shock in here to have the bounce with Brazen Borrower up when the most likely card my opponent plays is Paradise Druid this turn. Our life total definitely matters a lot in this deck. Bouncing Edgewall Innkeeper just doesn't really matter. It only costs one mana. Like putting that back in their hand, that's not even a big deal.
All right, so I need to find time wipe, but still, like, they have just a ton of cards still. Walk a righteous path. Mind and body should move in unison, like wind and wave. Um... Alright, so... End step. Here we go, we get to cast emergency powers. Does this have a really cool animation? They can have their one card. Scooped! We did the combo! Bounce that Gideon back to their hand. So take all your cards in hand. Like, yeah, good thing you had that Edgewall and Keeper drawing you a bunch of cards. Well, not anymore. They're all shuffled. They're left with just their one card plus their draw step. I get everything. Yay! The whole reason why we're playing the deck, just so we could do that. And we did it. It worked. It worked. It worked. We beat Green Ancestral Recall. <laughs> that was awesome. The powers. The emergency powers. All right, two and one. Hey, what's up, Tater? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. That gets us to sub number 20 on the day. That's another sub goal towards our next 12 hour stream. Let's mark that one down. So that that's gonna be sub goal number 11. So basically what I do is I, I do every 10 subs is a sub goal and every 20 sub goals i do a 12 hour stream to celebrate um so since our last 12 hour stream that's going to be our 11th so we're 11 out of 20 now A combo emote? Okay. That's a pretty good emote idea. Yeah, I don't I don't do twenty four hour streams. I just don't have 
I don't really have the ability to do that. I can't stay awake for 24 hours. All right, this is just a pretty risky hand that I was kind of going back and forth between and decided to keep. I really like, like, Grow Spiral's awesome. Then, of course, we have the Reclamation here, where if we can, you know, have Reclamation with Castle Vantress. I don't know. This My hand doesn't have lands, but it has everything else. So hopefully we just draw lands. That would be nice and convenient. Okay, that is a land. Um, if I play castle... No, I should play this. Alright, now I need white mana. Hmm. It's hard to ditch this as it's a land, though. But I do really need white mana. But I also need lands. I don't think I should... I don't think I should get rid of it. How am I doing on white man over here? 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 white sources. Well, that's going to hurt. Where did these extra 1 1s come from? Oh, raise the alarm? Seriously? 3, 6, no. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, two and two. That's the thing about best of one. Sometimes your opponent just has the hand that just gets regurgitated into play, and you lose. So I had to like bounce something just to like a venerate Luxidon just to stay alive, but I couldn't stay alive the next turn. So. All right, Growth Spiral. Wow. We're doing it. We are doing it. All right, now we need to find Time Wipe. Yeah, Finale and uh, Brazen Borrower are like our, those are our ways to kill our opponent. Ugh, did I counter that? I should have just shocked in and got an extra 2 2.
Yeah, Deckmaster is not working right now. Uh, no. Bad Midnight Reaper, bad. So yeah, I, I was I countered that claim the first one because I wanted to get cards out of my hand for this emergency powers. Gross. Oh whoops. I didn't have mana. Sure. They're going to have a brand new hand. It's probably bad for me for them to have a brand new hand. I don't want to let them untap and have like the priest activation available where I lose two life and everything. I know my responsibility. Let's try this. So yeah, I could have I could have just done to fairy and then Finale of Glory for a bunch on end step and you know get it for 10 But I mean I, if I do that if I let them pass I die to priest plus mayhem devil like I would have been dead Um. So yeah finale of glory is just six here not enough to kill them. I can no longer stand by and watch. All right, so I got to just hope they can't kill me from two. Gotta hope they can't kill me. Hey, Trigger Cut, thank you so much for the sub. So, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, here goes nothing. I have thirteen four four flyers. That should be pretty good. And Trigger Cut saying, always enjoy the stream. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah, so we're dead to many things, but if we're not dead, then they're definitely dead. Well, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. One flyer down. All right, we only have 48 in the air now. Oh no. Now that does one damage to me.
No, that's it. Uh, double oven. Ah, so close. So close. Two and three. All right, we'll do the reset here. We're going to have to win our last two to get a winning record here. That's though yeah that's true if they would have sacrificed the to the first witch's oven yeah they should have killed me just the one witch's oven was lethal cuz they could have sacrificed to put the well they only had one cat they didn't have multiple cats cuz i i i made them shuffle the other cats back so they only had one cat our deck needs nissa nissa I don't think we really need Nyssa in our deck filled with sweepers. Nyssa and Time Wipe don't really work very well together. All right, let's let's lead with Hallowed Fountain, uh, be thy name, and then we'll go with the Forest afterwards. Oh wait, no, 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 because I if I go Forest afterwards. Never mind, that doesn't work. I was gonna say that that gives me like the growth spiral, but we don't have Dovin's veto up also. So to have Dovin, to have spiral and borrower and veto all available, I have to go with temple into shock. Now, does it, am I supposed to have Dovin's veto available? Is that worth two life? Maybe not. Maybe I should just be playing like forest or something. Time wipe. No. Should have got that emergency powers. I thought they would be emptying their hand a lot faster. Can't really survive. Can't really survive here. 
thing about brazen borrowers, it's not really a... It's not really a, that good of a removal spell. Sometimes it looks really good, like against the mono green deck that we had earlier, like the green white, because it can tempo the opponent out. But other times it just doesn't work there. All right, two and four. Yeah, I almost played one mass manipulation, one finale of glory, but decided to go with the second finale of glory instead. But yeah, whenever we're real close to playing one mass manipulation, also. But I, th I think in best of one, there's less like good creatures to steal usually. You like seeing Wilderness Reclamation lose, Hawkeye? That one wasn't so close, but we, we played it. A couple of our losses were real close. Especially that Rakdos one. That was the closest. All right, we got Time Wipe. So that's good. But it's also turn five on the draw. Hey, a blue deck. I was thinking that we were going to be pretty good against other blue decks. If I had four lands right now, I would keep the Narset, but... Okay, well, we had a land on top. That hurts. So they still have a counter spell for reclamation available here. I'm just gonna try. Uh, that's a killer. That hurt. All right, so so much so much about not having the land drops. I wish I would have kept that Narset now. This is going good for us. All right, let's shuffle that Narset back. With us just having land drops, my opponent not having land drops. Hawkeye's like, it's my dinner time. I'm like, not yet, Hawkeye, not yet. Hmm. 
Focused and disciplined. Encounter no obstacles. Oh no, now they have land. Reckless and ill refined. Counter spells. That's a good one. Hone your prowess. I can pay for double mystical dispute. Let's slow this down. Let's try this. I think I have a forest still, right? Yeah. Shuffle that up, get that out of here before we start scrying. Be good to find Narset emergency powers. I am not going to sit this one out. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye sneezing. You okay, buddy? Yeah, he okay. Trust me, I have a plan. <laughs> what are you doing? Do we think they have No, I am not making this up as I go. Do you think they have time wipe? Two, four, six, eight. Shock in for nine. Yeah, that's really the question. Do they have two time wipes? I've got time. Better not have something lame like deputy of detention. Here goes nothing. That's more like it. Hmm.
I've done the hero thing before. Sorry I'm late. I'll protect you. I don't want to just upkeep Scry immediately. I may need the mana. It's like I used the mana there that turn. Looks like my opponent was even better set up for the blue matches than me. So many counter spells. <laughs> what? I put the upkeep stop. Ugh. Lame. Definitely tried putting that upkeep stop there. No, you can't bounce your own... You can't... Brazen Borrower can't bounce your own things. Yeah, it's a good song. Trust me, you'll thank me later. This might be a bad idea. If I leave the land in hand, if I find a chemist's inside, I could discard it. Um, I guess I could have bluffed a, bluffed something too. I mean, my my only hope right now is emergency powers. That's my only hope. There's 22 cards. That we don't know where emergency powers is out of the 22. Right on schedule. That's that's my only hope is finding emergency powers. I've got it. Cause obviously they have a million more cards than I do. Okay, I have the up I actually have the upkeep scry this time. All right, come on, emergency powers. So there's 27 cards in the library, but we know it's not one of the bottom nine. We have a 1 in 18 shot. 
Um, I don't have enough lands. Okay, that's still good. I suppose that's how it was meant. To That'll work. That means we're going to be able to keep the Teferi. We need to be able to keep the Teferi. Don't worry. I got this. So now the Gadwick can't kill Teferi. Teferi obviously being vital, shutting down a lot of my opponent's deck. They're just going to activate Castle. Come on, emergency powers. <gasps> there it is. I think I just play it right now. Yeah, I just play it right now. Um, there's nothing else to fetch. There's no other lands to go grab. I just I don't really have anything to use this on. I like I don't want to cast finale right now. I could cast time wipe right now, I guess. All right. Coming back with the win there. Emergency powers, awesome, especially with the fairy where you know, so they couldn't counter anything. We we're gonna put a brazen borrower back in our hand, kill the Gadwick. Um and then and so then since so the thing about killing the Gadwick is that then my opponent was not gonna be able to get rid of my Teferi unless they had their agent of treachery. That was like the one card if they had their agent of treachery or mass manipulation, something like that. But if they don't I was going to untap all my lands again with Wilderness Reclamation, and so then at end step, I was going to have a huge finale that would have won the game there. So yeah, I guess my my opponent, you know, like they they shuffled and put a whole bunch of stuff back in their hand. They probably just had a whole bunch of counter spells. Like if they just had like all lands and counter spells, like that don't, that don't do anything with the Teferi out there. That's my guess, but yeah. Okay, so we went three and four. Respectable. Definitely. Respectable there. And emergency powers was awesome. Uh, it definitely helped us win a couple of games. 
Yeah, you know, like there's no chance that we could win that that game that we were just playing without emergency powers. But we found it and it won us the game. And then also against the Selesnia deck, uh, whenever, you know, we dropped Narset plus emergency powers and they just conceded on the spot. Uh, that was really cool, too. That was that was like the highlight uh, for sure with this deck. But um, so, yeah, if you want to do something a little different, if you like emergency powers, Narset kind of stuff. This could be an option here uh, with the Wilderness Reclamation and everything. The the most the thing that I really missed the most with this deck. Hey, Eisenf. What's up? Thanks for that tier one sub. The thing I missed the most with this deck was better removal. Honestly, that's that's really what I I missed. Um, I wish we had. Um, you know, like we had the time wipes. The time wipes were good, but I think we could have used like some glass caskets or prison realms. Something like that. But there's not really room. Like, if to play those, you kind of have to, like, not play counters or not play Brazen Borrower. Like, bra so I don't I don't know if, like, Prison Realm would have been better than Brazen Borrower. There's a lot of... Besides against, like, the Hyper Aggro decks, like, where you just kind of need more removal like that, Brazen Borrower was, like, pretty good. It did a lot of cool little things. So I liked it. Um... But yeah, Narset plus emergency powers. That's a lot of fun. And so that's what I wanted to do. And that's what we did. So there we go. So there's there's another, you know, it's it's this deck's gonna be better against the blue decks, like we saw there. Like you're gonna want to play against slower decks with this one here. The hyper aggro decks are gonna go underneath you. And there there are a good amount of hyper aggro in Vesta One. That's just how it is. But that's okay. All right, Bant Reclamation. There we go. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button and uh, leave some comments. Those help also, so please do that too. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I got here. That's Banner Reclamation. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.